We're here with Coach Ricky Woods, a victorious uh, Peabody or Trenton Peabody. Congratulations on the state title in your first year at Peabody. My second year. Second, second year, second I'm second sorry. Year. I, old year. old age has, has got to me. Uh, you, you, you get these kids, I, I can see when you were talking to some of the other press, these kids really have a lot of respect and love for you. Uh, talk about talk about that relationship and how it how it affected today's outcome. Well, it goes both ways, you know. I'm telling you, we all talk about coaching and teachers, and administration, all of them and support it. And, but I tell you what, the players is what you what it's all about. You know, when you get to thinking thanking people, you need to thank them first, because you know this coaching is a lot way overrated now. Players make you good coaches. The communities behind you, they they really put uh, they really put their wallets behind their support and got you some great facilities out there. When you came up and interviewed for the job and you saw the facilities, did you know the commitment was there? Yeah, I did. I mean, and, and it's commitment of really for all the facilities because, I mean, they're every sport. That's what I like, too. But, uh, you know, for our class or any class, we get great facilities. You know, that, that means they're important to the program. Huge crowd here from the community. You've been at a big school, South Panola. You've co- you've coached at the college level. What does it mean to win it for a small community like Trenton? Well, we won one at uh, we won two at Ackerman. We won two at Ackerman, my hometown, and it was just the same, the size. And you know, it's really important. It's important anywhere, but you know, everybody's gonna know. Everybody in the town's gonna know these four boys. They go downtown, they gonna know, them. and that's important. The young lady standing behind you, holding this trophy. She's been with you a while, and, and I think it's neat. Uh, I told her earlier that I love coaches' wives because of all the sacrifice that they have. Talk about her. She's, we've been married 33 years. The assistant and the head, I think, is 435. But, but uh, I think this is my 406th game, and she's never missed a game. That's an amazing accomplishment. When we, when we do things... And we change jobs or whatever we do. And we, you know, it's just as much her decision as mine. And she'll tell you that. Because she's not happy with it, I'm not going to do it. All right. So is she going to be happy? Is she So far, she's been happy at Trenton. And is she going to be even happier this weekend? I think so. I think so. I think so. She <laughs> fears to be. She fears to be. I was fortunate enough to win a state championship. Got a ring. My wife got a ring. Does your wife get rings? Does your wife get rings? Yeah, she gets rings or pennants. I mean, our, uh, those little, what do you call Medallions? Yeah, yeah. pennants. Yeah. yeah. Pretending, but the, the head of that ring uh, okay. on, a, on, a on a necklace. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations, Coach. Enjoy this, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you a lot.